Okay, we're back, and where we cut to was here, Merle of Lee's house on Shooting Star... So, uh, uh, how come every time I start recording my controller does this, it goes crazy? Oh, well, it's a Nintendo 64, which is... Still pretty good for an old piece of hardware. Anyway, in here, here's the chest that looks exactly like the one in Princess Peach's castle, and we can get the Power Rush Badge, which, when he's in danger, his attack power increases by two. And we can get the Deep Focus Badge, and we can get, most importantly, the Jam and Jelly. Anyway, yeah, anytime you get an item as Peach, go ahead and go back there, and you can get him as Mario. So anyway, cutting away to something else. Anyway, the next thing we're going to want to do is go ahead and go in here into Merlon's house, and what's this thing? Oh, it's you, you came at such a good time. I was guest waiting for you. Nice to meet you. I come from Starborn Valley. Starborn Valley is in the Shiver region, chill place to the far north at the very end of the earth. Merle, who ha hails from there, said that he had something important to tell you, Mario. Merle of Starborn Valley is my son, Mario. Seems he's calling for you. If he is searching for you, you can be sure something important is afoot. You must go to Starborn Valley. Do not delay. Yes, please hurry. I will run ahead and take care of tidings. For you and I think somewhere deep below Toad Town is a pipe connected to Shiver City. Summer Valley is located quite near Shiver City. Mario, hurry to my son. To <laughs> my son. Something about a valley. Anyway, yeah. Uh, now we have to go to a Starborn Valley because a starfish, a black starfish with goggles visited us. That's actually a ninja. I think it's from the Yoshi series, but I'm not quite positive. Either that or it's just from this thing. I never knew what it was until, like... Not too long ago. Anyway, there's a little bit of side questy stuff we can do here in the Toad Town Tunnels now that we have things. Um, actually, you don't want to go to the right. You want to go across this bridge here and go down this hole. Or you go down the hole. Okay, whatever. Get on sushi, and now we can ride over here. And here's a boss fight, but we're kind of forced into using sushi. Blooper! Whatever. My mic's been acting weird lately, I'm getting a lot of distortion. Anyway, here is the third and final blooper. This is the super blooper. And you may or may not want to put on quick change before this bad, just so you can switch away from sushi. Um, I prefer using bow for this battle. And in this one, if you have the um, zap tap badge, it's actually useful, because this blooper is an electric base, like the electro blooper. Oh, how surprising. I'm probably just gonna switch away to Bo just because Bo is amazing. Alright, pretty easy to time attack. Yeah, right there. Now, this battle can actually be somewhat difficult if you don't have very defensive badges because he hits for quite a, f ah, quite a lot of damage. And we hit for more because we have power bounce and that's such an overpowered moves. move. And oops, I used Fack and I. Oh my god. I used Smack and I. Still have to show off Fan Smack. There? Better? Anyway, I recommend Bo for this fight because this guy can charge up. And um, when he does things happen, he hits for quite a bit of damage and nobody wants that. Of course, nobody wants that. Anyways, go, go ahead and Starstorm these blooper babies because he gave birth in the middle of a battle. What? He gave birth in the middle of a battle? Ah, she gave birth in the middle of a battle, sorry, and those babies can hurt you. They probably have 6 HP for a reason, just so you can kill them with Star Storm or a thing. Anyway, that's Fan Smack, it just does twice as much damage as Smack, which is 10 damage. And this is him when he's charging up. Uh, I'm just gonna power bounce and then do out of sight with Bo. By the way, guys, sorry if I... <sighs> By the way, guys, sorry if I sound a little bit weird, I'm a tad sick at the moment. Um, yesterday, Monday, June something or other, was... Yesterday was Monday, right? Uh, yeah, the day of recording this, yesterday was Monday. Um, our class went to the water slides to celebrate our graduation, and no, I'm not a senior, just like, graduating the year. Which is kind of weird, but whatever. Anyway, yeah, that was fun, and there's the guarding against that attack, even though I was talking while I was saying that. It was so much fun, I haven't been to the water slides in forever. And I'm just going to go ahead and power bounce him to death. And I'm going overkill. Rahaha! <laughs> Mario loves destroying innocent squids. <laughs> anyway, yeah, kill him. Get tons of star points. 25 star points. And we get a level up. You know, 
I should be leveling up HP or FP, but I'm gonna go with BP just because there are some great badges that we can't use at the moment because we don't have enough BP. Anyway, where does this pipe lead? It leads to Lava Lava Island. Very cool. Alright, so we don't have to go back on the whale if we want to get back there for whatever reason. Except we don't really need to get back there. Because, um... Yeah, we already got all the star pieces and everything there. Anyway, come over here with Lucky Lester, go through this pipe. And we have a very annoying spiny maze, and I think I'm going to take out Bo for this, because... Because, 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 because... Whatever, 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 whatever a whiz there was. Alright, so apparently this thing isn't going to be that bad, because both Mario and Watt can kill these spinies in one hit at this point for me. Ugh, that wasn't good at all. Yeah, but I really need to get start get started on the grinding for the level ups, or else I'm going to be kind of screwed. Anyway, there's a whole bunch of things that we can equip now, but I want either the Quick Change Badge or the Zap Tap Badge, and I think they both need a certain amount of BP. Um, four, I think? Oy, that's a tough choice. I guess I'll just take off Damage Dodge, and I'll put on Quick Change for now. For now. I could probably put on something else, too. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just put on the super jump charge to show how it works. Anyway, those blocks we cannot hit yet, and I got hit by first strike there. So... Alright, we're back. Go ahead and break that with your ultra hammer. And, oh, let's hit this block with that springboard on it. Is this a springboard or a trampoline in this game? I can't remember. And, oh no, we can't get to that block. I sure hope there's not something in this chest to help us out because I love this area and you got the ultra boots dun, 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 dun. the attack power of our jump increases and now we can do a tornado jump just like this instead of the spin jump aim mid air and you go slightly higher which is pretty cool I think there's a hidden block in one of these rooms around here somewhere apparently not this one maybe it's the next one I'm, that I'm thinking of but all I know is that it has a very useful item and apparently we got a first strike with a tornado jump Anyway, yeah, that's the tornado jump. It does quite a bit of damage. And... Once again, cutting. Actually, no, I'll just show the tornado jump for, just for the heck of it. There's its power. Five and five with all my equips. So it would be three and three without any equips. Now, cutting away. Okay, that's pretty cool. I can kill Dark Koopas in one hit now, too, with my jump attack. Um, okay, no more enemies. Alright. Going through this pretty easily, and I hope I didn't speak too soon. Ah, uh, good, I didn't. Anyway, now that we have those tornado boots, they are actually a required part of the game, but they don't seem like it, because you don't have to get them before you start the next chapter. And before we start the next chapter, there is also one thing that we have remaining to do. So... Are you guys ready for this? Are you guys ready for this? Yeah, yeah, I sure am ready for this, guys. Third Mario Brother is going to be taking on the Toad Town Dojo. Yeah! <laughs> now, this area becomes available after the prologue, I think. I may or I may not be wrong. But, um, to start fighting in it, since it's a dojo, talk to this guy. Oh, must be Mario. Welcome to my dojo. I'm the master. I'm the head of this dojo. <coughs> <laughs> Please pardon me, my health is rather delicate. Every day we train in the dojo to improve body and mind. If you have the purpose and the desire, you may challenge us. Tell me, what business do you have here today? <coughs> and let's try. Very well, then Chan will fight you. Now, Chan, it is time for you to fight Mario. As you say, mister. Jackie Chan, here we come. Anyway, you have to fight two... Mario, here comes Chan the man. Wow, very nice pun. That is so creative. You have to fight two enemies before you can take on the master of this dojo. Which actually is not bad at all because these two enemies are very easy. And holy crap, I'm doing this huge power bounce combo while I'm talking. I like the tornado jump um, power bounce combo. Hmm, I wonder how many I can get. Wow, this is probably the biggest one I've ever done. Oh my god, this is amazing. I hope I can get this on the master. Just take him out instantly. Except he's considered a boss, so you can't do that to him. Anyway, kill Chen in one hit. Very easy. 
Let's see. Enough, the winner is Mario. Chen, you must train harder. Very well. I give you this. Mario, the first degree card. Proof of Mario's strength. One by defeating Chen at the dojo. For every um, enemy here you defeat, you get a different degree card or diploma. Now we get to fight Lee, Bruce Lee. Ha ha ha. Very nice name there. Anyway, um, yeah, you get a different... I bet you've never seen a move like this before. And he can change into one of your partners because he's a dupla ghost. He is so cool. Anyway, um... Yeah, you get a different degree card. The points of these degree cards aren't really existent. You just kind of have them, and then you can show them to random people around the Mushroom Kingdom, and they'll be like, Oh, you're so cool. You're so strong, even though you already know that. And that does it for Chan. So, I'll see you next time on Paper Mario, where we actually take on the Master See you then.